I am so upset right now. I am so upset right now. Because of my lust, I just lost the biggest crappie that I've ever seen this late. I was here with my, with my flasher, you know, marking things on the bottom, right? And then these two European females come over, red head and blonde, right? Blonde my type, you know, man, that body figure, right? So I kind of, you know, appreciated the scenery. I look back at my flasher, there's a fish on it, right? I set the hook, I feel the weight, and immediately I know that is going to be a good fish, right? I'm fighting the fish, crappy comes all the way to the top, man. Kid you not, 1.5 to 2 pounds, PA white crappy here at Lake Luxembourg. I saw the whole thing, dude. There's gotta be like a 16, 16 incher, you know? And then it got off as soon as it came to the top, man. Because maybe my hook set wasn't good enough. As I like to tell people on this YouTube channel all the time, you cannot make that up. The set of sketches that you go folks watched on this video right now were actually Instagram stories that I posted on my IG page less than 24 hours ago right here at this dock right it happened around 4 p.m. yesterday and right now is 7 50 a.m. I mean you know 32 years old a single when I see a nice, beautiful female out there, I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, I smile at them when I very politely check them out. But that being said, I lost a big crappie. And I don't know how often this happens to you folks, but to Leo Shane, to your boy over here, sometimes when I lose a nice fish, it haunts me. It really haunts me. I mean, check that out. Do you see the black bags under my eyes? I could barely sleep last night. Kept turning in my bed and just thinking about that crappie that got away. So I'm back, baby, that's what's up. I'm here for some revenge. Our sole objective of the day is to catch the one that got away. I am really, really hoping that that fish is still around here feeding. And I got good news too. Today is the second day here in Philadelphia that the weather is going up, right? Water temperatures. Yesterday it was 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Today is going to be 65 to 70. I was on a good bite here yesterday. So today it should be much, much better. I'm gonna take a few minutes here, folks, get myself situated. I got my ice fishing rod over here. No ice. I'm gonna put my flasher around the edges and see if I'm marking any fish. We are going to go from there. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you can see I am not playing. I got here my Jacko egg bucket ready. I got my Euro Tackle Euro Locker hybrid with plenty of jigs. I got my wax worms over here and I got my flasher fully charged Mm-hmm. I'm going to start over here right now, but I am going to be moving throughout this dock the entire day. And let me tell you, I charged this baby just last night so that it can last me for the entire day. Oh, I'm going to be out here for a while, or at least until I run out of these little babies here. I got 50 wax worms in here. And even if I do run out, we got some Eurotechno leech inside the box. Rest of the video, game is very simple. Drop a little ice fishing jig. You see, that tiny down there, and catch some species. Hopefully that jumbo that we're looking for. Oh, something's coming, something's coming. Something's around. All the way to the bottom too. Oh, it's on my jig. It's on my jig. I'm gonna stop it a little bit and see if it gets it or not. Got him. First fish of the day coming up. Very tiny though, very tiny. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. If these are around, and I caught these yesterday. If these are around, there are smaller ones down there of this species. 
that's where the big crappie i think i mean that's what the big crappie i think yesterday were feeding on why they are kind of around this area what we call it right over here ladies and gentlemen is a spot tail shiner all right notropis hudsonius which actually turned out to be species number 41 for me yesterday too and there are schools of them like right around here this one is like a bigger one but i've caught them yesterday that were about this big it is truly my belief that the big crappie they're around this dock at this time of the year like right now feeding on these guys so that's a very good sign it is interesting though isn't it to kind of see them in a lake environment i have caught a lot of the spot tail shiner back in the days but from a lake i think lake luxembourg is really the only lake that i have ever seen a spot tail shiner swimming in it but you know it kind of makes sense if you think about it right because back in the days this place wasn't necessarily a lake right it was only later that they kind of dammed this place up so that a core creek became lake luxembourg there are actually collections from this place dating back all the way to 1985 where the pa fish and boat commission has called a spot tail shiner it is just great to know that naturally speaking there is a native species of fish here right that keeps the game fish well fed all right i mean that's a good start i'm not really marking any suspending crappie at the moment but sooner or later today it is my belief that they're going to cross around here and feed so we're just gonna keep on grinding got him oh yes oh yes boy where are you going where are you going oh it's a perch it's a perch oh it is snagged on my transducer that is no that is not good it circled twice around it too all right now we good now we good look at that ah yellow oh easy now we're gonna take it from the top yellow perch perca flavicens that's actually a species that i didn't really catch yesterday so i am going to be taking a few shots of this one but yeah check it out huh beautiful yellow perch from lake luxembourg hey i'm not complaining you know three species in less than 15 minutes including a beautiful yellow perch from lake luxembourg always gotta watch out for the two spines behind the operculum over here on this phallus that can actually hurt you pretty bad okay so i mean we've been catching all the stuff that uh we're really not looking for right still no signs of the crappie hmm this is the game today though this is the game today all right i'll be back when i catch a big one Mm. Oh yeah, 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 oh no, did you see that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh no, did you see that? No, 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 and that's because of my mistake too. Oh my goodness, no. Yeah yeah i didn't tie the knot very good that is oh no oh i'm hurting now oh i'm hurting ah ladies and gentlemen you really cannot make that up did you folks see that band on that road that was like my first solid bite of the day and because of an amateur mistake blame it on the lack of sleep or lack of attention right the knot was just not tied good enough look at that huh? euro locker huh so convenient so this time i'm gonna make sure that this thing is tied really good see that man we're just gonna put right through the hole over here that's how i like it right in the hole and then we're gonna do two over the hand knots instead of one and then I'm going to do my famous 
rainforest. You guys like to joke about that. Rainforest clinch knot, right? Just to spin a few times over here. And then we're going to pass the line over there. I, this is usually my preferred type of knot. This one or a good palomar. So there we have it. This time it should not break off. We should be ready to catch some monsters. And I mean, it's been good. It's been good out here. You know, 20, 25 minutes. We got that solid bite all the way at the end of the pier there. It is my belief that the bigger fish are definitely feeding on something right under this dock. So for now, it is really just a matter of time. Tell you all what, that was definitely no 16 inch crappie, but that was a pretty solid one. So I'm really, really hoping that there are going to be some monsters right around the corner over here. That's where I got that real nice bite. My man, and the thing about Lake Luxembourg is that this fish over here, they do move a lot. So even if you drop your stuff around here, you know, right now in the morning, that does not mean that it is going to suck for the rest of the day and vice versa you just gotta keep moving around and uh watching out right for the markers and the flasher i'm marking a little fish down there right now so we will see got him got him oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh yeah. easy now easy easy i think it's a yellow perch though i don't think it's a crappie holy it's a rainbow trout big rainbow trout you see that you see that that's what's up boy that's what's up that's extreme oh easy 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 no 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 not on my transducer not on my transducer boy let's walk into the bucket let's walk to the bucket right now lake luxembourg is catch and release only for rainbow trout this is open all year to trout fishing but easy now easy don't do anything stupid don't do anything stupid i thought that was going to be my 16 inch crappie <laughs> rainbow well you know if i lose it i lose it okay i'm using three pound test line and the trout is pretty tired how am i gonna get it i don't want to lose it though i want a nice photo with it but it's hooked on the on the top of the mouth too all right all right all right, all right. let me just grab it i'm just gonna grab it Oh, easy, easy! Should have brought a net, man. Dude, that's a nice stocky, too. Nice stalker. I got it, I got it, I got it. In the bucket, it goes. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? Oh, that's the one that I lost! That, dude, 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 that's, that's... people there's a stories on the youtube channel some people don't believe me they say i'm booing them right 16 inch crappie lake luxembourg not possible i just lost a fish earlier in this video right over there you guys saw it pop my jig who else in this entire lake uses pink jigs ice fishing with waxes right let me show you again so you all understand that I'm not fooling anyone here. Look at the mouth of this particular fish. There are two jigs in it. You see that? Two jigs. You see? You see that? One, two, because that is the fish that I lost right over there and I caught the damn boy. We're gonna take a few photos. And I'm gonna put it back. Well, I guess the crappie are not the only predatory species eating the little shiners down there. This is by far one of the most beautiful holdovers that I ever caught here from Lake Luxembourg. Because you folks know, with stock fish, they don't look real good, naturally speaking, right? It is actually a shame that they are no longer going to stock this place with trout beginning in 2022, huh? Because of fish consumption advisories but look at that huh? beautiful rainbow from lake luxembourg i'm going to release it now 
This fish has been inside the bucket for the entire time, so it should really have no problem in swimming away. Easy, easy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Mm-hmm. Filled with energy, too. Two jigs. I got my other jig back. Hey, you know what? I don't know if we're going to catch that 16-inch crappie that I lost yesterday which was in the range of 1.5, 2 pounds white crappie but man, that trout alone, it kind of made my day already Lake Luxembourg is an open to fishing body of water all year round so even if you are targeting trout or whatever, you're not supposed to I think but if you catch it, you just release it and I tell you what, like I said, it's a shame they're no longer going to stock this place because apparently the water is contaminated, right? So, all right, back to fishing. We still have the whole day to go. Hey, trout, trout, besides the trout, you know, we still need to catch that big crappie. My mother just texted me via messenger, Facebook messenger, she wants me to, I mean, she needs me to make some uh, doctor appointments for my father and my mother back in Brazil. I'm the one who takes care of their health care down there. You know, I take care of scheduling all their appointments and exams and things like that, right? So I wanted to fish here until sunset, but life calls. That being said, it, it is not like today was a bad day, right? I'm putting the numbers over here for you guys. Three rainbow trout, you know? We didn't really find that 16 inch crappie. As a matter of fact, we didn't even really find the schools of crappie around here. I really think now that the crappie over here, they bite more towards sunset because yesterday the bite was like super hot, 4 to 7 p.m., right? Days like this, it is like, you know, it all counts at the end of the day, right? It is experience at the end of the day. Can you believe it? So many hold over. Okay, okay. I wouldn't say so many, but at least three holdover trout are alive here at Lake Luxembourg. I'm going to finish this video once again by emphasizing that it is quite a tragedy in my personal opinion that the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission is no longer going to stock this place with fish, right? They posted a fish consumption advisory on their website. I think it is similar to what happened to the Neshaminy Creek they are not going to stock the Neshaminy Creek around here this year either. So yeah, if you come here and you fish it, I mean, it is a lot of fun. There's plenty of fish to be caught, as you guys saw. However, keep in mind that these waters may be contaminated and therefore I do not recommend anyone to take any fish back home to eat from this place whatsoever, okay? Rules and regulations don't say that this is all, all catch and release. I mean, for now, the trout, they do have to be all catch and release. But even the crappie and the perch, I don't think I would risk it eating from here anymore in the future. The entire Core Creek system, as a matter of fact. Uh, all right, I'm, going, I'm still going. You know, that crappie is still going to haunt me for a good while. But that does not mean that I cannot just come here another day and give it another go, right? This is it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Tight lines and take it easy.